As the pandemic dragged on, the National Press Foundation found new ways to help train and support journalists. We ran virtual training programs, in-person fellowships, and hybrid programs. We paired journalists with data scientists to produce investigative stories. And we gave grants to journalists all over the world to report on undercovered issues like rare diseases and environmental justice. Education Secretary Miguel Cardona briefed reporters about going back to school in the pandemic. Former FDA Commissioner Mark McClellan explained the validity of evidence. And Secretary of Agriculture Tom Vilsack talked about how to alleviate American hunger. Author Dorothy Brown briefed NPF fellows about the whiteness of wealth. Black college graduates are more likely to send money home to their parents and Pulitzer Prize-winning investigative reporter James Steele gave private coaching to one of our accountability fellows who then filed a story that led to two former Kansas officials' indictments. In the run-up to the COP26 climate conference in Glasgow, NPF bioenergy fellows toured North Carolina forests where trees are harvested for wood pellets that are burned in European power plants for fuel. We took them on a boat ride down the Cape Fear River to see for themselves. Those are the domes that are used to stage uh, the wood pellets that have been rendered from trees that were harvested out of North Carolina forests. 25 fellows gathered in Chicago for a program on reporting on criminal justice in the age of George Floyd. Police, criminologists, and sociologists helped reporters dig deeper into trends, understand the limitations of police statistics, and find hidden stories. Please read the collective bargaining agreement. We ran fellowships on statehouse reporting and helped journalists understand complicated issues in international trade, advances in treating opioid addiction, covering poverty and inequality, and we ran a virtual conference on reporting on rare diseases that drew journalists from every continent except Antarctica. With help from volunteers, we also held flash briefings on explaining the digital dollar, Russian disinformation, and following the January 6th insurrection, an emergency refresher course on First Amendment law. Our fellows used what they learned, and we honor their work. They'll bring back to their newsroom some new story ideas and some new ways of thinking about what they cover uh, more critically and also more sourcing. How can I help dispel some of these harmful myths about immigrants in my newsroom? For like the use of ghost guns, the availability of the house getting distributed and how much of a concern is that really um, that experts are seeing? Covering the wood pellet industry, as I've been doing for a few years, it's it's hard to get uh, company and industry people to talk. So uh, being able to meet them directly was really important. Thank you for supporting our mission, making good journalists better.